from Connecticut's news leader. NBC 30 News at 5.30 starts now. In the midst of Connecticut's budget crisis, a new website called ctsunlight.org is a way for you to find out exactly how your tax dollars are being spent. Information includes salaries of all state employees, along with expenditures that range from millions to money earmarked for hiring a clown. Chief political correspondent Tom Monahan is here with the latest. Tom. Yeah, Jerry, the site was created by the Connecticut Yankee Institute for Public Policy, and today it kicked off the site saying taxpayers have a right to know. Well, our belief is that transparency, sunlight, and disclosure puts downward pressure on state spending, and that in turn keeps taxes low. Fergus Cullen is the executive director of the Connecticut Yankee Institute. These are some of the expenditures found on the website that the state has made recently. More than $5 million spent by the Attorney General's office to only a few private law firms. The Department of Corrections spending $2.8 million for milk and more than $3,000 going for bottled water for the Governor's office. We have a budget, but people don't really know where their money's going, so they might be surprised to find out that there was some $900 for Boston Celtics tickets paid for by your tax dollars, another $1,210 for New York Yankees tickets. Key Democratic lawmakers learned of the website today. They say while it is a good idea that transparency does take place here, these expenditures must be looked at in the context in which they were made. For instance, there was a very large expenditure showed for outside law firms for the Attorney General, 5.1 million approximately. Well, what did we get for that? We have, you know, over 500 uh, veterans in uh, the states uh, at Rocky Hill, and uh, the idea that we provide some books for them I don't think is a waste of taxpayer dollars. By the way, there was one other expenditure made, the Department of Corrections paying Chuckles the Clown $600 for a party for kids. And somebody in the Department of Corrections made a decision to hire a clown for a staff Christmas party. And that at least is questionable. Any time there's a clown, we have such an abundance of them here, I wouldn't see why we have to hire any. So uh, I think... <laughs> it's got a point there. Colin of the Yankee Institute says the public and state employees can contribute to the website. But he wants to emphasize that the purpose of the site is to inform taxpayers about how their money is spent. Not only in the big expenditures, but the small ones as well. Tom Monahan, NBC, Connecticut News.